Hello, my name's John and I'm here to give some tutorials on how to program an 8-bit computer commonly known as the Commodore 64. And this, in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the development studio that I would like to use. This is called CBM Pro Studio. Um, I will put a URL in the description for this you can download it, it's free of charge um, but basically it allows you to create um, and edit your program, 64 programs within this cross-platform editor and when you've set it up it will integrate with Vice, uh, the Vice emulator so what we're going to do here, we're going to create the typical um, hello world application and we're going to create it in basic first so what you do you just say create a new project it's for the Commodore 64 but you could create one for any of these uh, Commodore 8-bit computers I'm going to get a name so it's going to be hello world click next click create and it's now created a project for us for this hello world application so we're going to add a new basic program and we'll start writing the basic in here so uh, 10 print hello world 20 go to 10 that's going to print hello world all the way down to the screen until we tell it to stop. Click save. So we're going to tell it to compile and send it across to the emulator. And there you go. Do a list. And there's the program we've just typed in. The beauty of this is that we get the full functionality of a modern day IDE and without the uh, under performing Commodore 64 as a hindrance. Now we've done the uh, Hello World example using BASIC we're going to do exactly the same thing using Assembler. So the first thing we need to do is create a new file We need to tell it the uh, tell the assembly where to start from. And then we need to create a um, syscall for the basic program to call it. There we go. So just tidy it up a bit. So this um, section here is a basic called which is line 10 sys 2304. Um, the way it's constructed is this is a uh, an address, forward address to the next line. This is equal to line 10 and then we've got the token SYS space bracket two three oh four bracket and then you have a zero to specify the end of the basic line now this address actually points to this character this uh, byte here now basic when it has a double zero on the next um, linked word that means end of basic so this is a byte version or data version of this command up here and that's what the computer will see when it comes to run this assembly code so the first thing we need to do is we need to um, 
specify what our text is. Now, if you look in the help, you'll see there are specific data types for um, storing data. So as you can see here, there's byte, and if we go down to byte, you'll see that it's an 8-bit and it can be of many different formats. Now what we need to do is store some text. We need to store the Hello World text. And if we use ptext, the assembly will create a Pascal type string. Yeah, less than 256 characters. Yeah. But we need to have one where it terminates with zero. So we need to create null. Right? and that allows us then to put some null text in. So we'll put null hell, hello world and because we've create, made it a null it will put a, a zero byte at the end of it. So what we need to do now is to create a program to print that out. So, so we need to do LDA hash Hello world. So we need to create the label because we're taking the least significant bit of hello world and the most significant bit of hello world and then we're going to call this address and then we're going to return it back to basic. This address we could create a label for it which is so we could say print line and then change this from that to that. I'll just go quick that's a so basically what this is doing is loading a with the least significant bit of hello world and load y with the most significant bit of hello world and then uses this routine now this routine I got out of the anatomy of the Commodore 64 which is the first publication and it's a basic routine so we're reusing code that's already in basic and if I go to the page, ABY, it is online, it is on page A23. And basically it is to output a string to the uh, screen. So Hopefully, I've got these the right way around, and it should work. Well, we'll give it a try. There you go. It's all in capitals, so it's all shifted. So, instead of using null, we'll use text, which is converted into ASCII, or PETSCII. And if we run it again, says hello world so if we wanted to make it do the same thing as um, the basic program well we'd have to add a byte to this which is 13 and that'd be a carriage return and then 00, zero because we need to force a zero at the end of it and then put a label here, we'll call it start because that's what it is and instead of return we jump to start now this will put it into a forever loop and we'll scroll the machine um, quite quickly so uh, but we'll do it just to show you there you go 
course we can't stop it because it's not a basic program so we'll kill it and so if I put that back to practice take that out and comment it out there we go run it again and then we get the hello world right one thing that um, this program does is it actually shows you what the assembly out the assembly code actually looks like and that's this window that I keep turning down and so what it's saying it's start, starting at program counter 1 this is line 1 starting at 0 and, and it just because we haven't specified a count it just stays like that but it doesn't compile anything then it says right start a basic and then encodes these bytes into this and so we'll end up at 810 we then tell it to start at 0900 which it does and then it encodes all the way down so so it loads LDA hello world which is LDA 08 and it's the least significant bit so hello world starts at yeah 08 and then it loads Y with the most significant bit which is 09 which is here and then it jumps to pro uh, print line which is AB1E so 20 is ju uh, ju goes up lowest, lowest significant bit so 1E highest significant bit AB and then 60 is return and then it encodes hello world here so we've got from 08 to 13 uh, so that's six and um, three cats, nine characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Yeah. And that's it. I hope this simple Hello World um, tutorial helps you understand how we're going to do things from now on. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.